Waymaker Learning UK, the one-stop shop for learning and development, is a firm providing bespoke training services in technology, education, business development, process improvement, and startups. Our technology training courses include project slash portfolio management, business analysis, and specialist software training such as Oracle Primavera P6 Enterprise Professional Project Management. Our vision is to enhance and empower our course delegates by providing real-life application of course content. Core values. Respect for individual. Integrity. Continuous improvement. Flexibility. Excellence. At Waymaker Learning UK, we aim to impact our course instructors and delegates by providing and enabling learning atmosphere, enhancing personal mentorship programs, and fostering an ecosystem to support our course delegates. For more information, go to www.waymakerlearning.com. Waymaker Learning UK, the one-stop shop for learning and development. Waymaker Learning, become what you learn. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this evening's webinar. Uh, this is Wimika Learning, and the title of our webinar this evening is the Introduction to Project Management. Uh, we'll be speaking for about half an hour, and I hope uh, you enjoy the webinar. Uh, my name is Devan Ahideme, and I am a training consultant with Wemi Kalyan in UK. Um, I'm also a principal practitioner and also a BCS qualified business analyst. Uh, the BCS is, was formerly called the ICED. I'm also a, a fellow of the Higher Education Academy in the UK, and uh, I'm also an author of uh, a series of articles which can be found on both the Wemi Learning. Uh, website and also on my LinkedIn page called Early Career for Project Manager. It's a series of articles. I hope you will enjoy the presentation this evening. Um, while we while we while we'll be talking, uh, if you do have any questions, please you can put them on the chat box uh, at the end of the presentation. If there are any questions, I'll take the questions and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. So the project management uh, offering at Wimica Learning, uh, we have a, a, a double barrel uh, uh, presentation for all our delegates. We have both the project management boot camp and the Princeton Foundation certification examination course all lumped into one. Our target in Wimica Learning is to make sure that all our delegates get hands-on experience that can get them as fast as possible into the industry and into the job market. Not just to go for interviews, but to get jobs in the industry. So we've come up with this special package and not actually offered anywhere in the world where you have a, a training on project management, an, an intensive boot camp, and also end it with taking the foundation at uh, the Princeton Foundation Certification Examination. Uh, I'll be talking you through the whole offering of project management at Wimica Learning and highlighting the major importance of not just the course, but also what you will get when you when you, when you come to Wimica and you take a course with us. So we'll start by talking about project. What is a project? A project is a unique, transient, uh, which means temporary endeavor. It's a, it's a temporary organization that is put together uh, and with a special undertaking to achieve land objectives. Uh, plan objectives, objectives could be defined in terms of outputs, outcomes, or benefits. Every business and every organization wants to make profit or wants a benefit. Even non-profit organizations have a way of measuring their outputs. Now they put a project together to help them uh, plan, and achieve those objectives. Now, one thing about projects is that every human being on Earth is in a project or another. Your education is a project. Your 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 parties, your plans are projects. 
your your purchasing of a house is a project, your getting a job is a project, your moving careers is a project. What a project is if a project is, is 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 started and has a definite beginning and a definite end. So it's it's not just a uh, 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 something you do, but it's actually temporary. Once you've completed a project, you move on to what we call business as usual. Like I've said, a, temp a project is temporary, meaning uh, it has a defined start date and start uh, end date. It also involves a lot of change. Uh, most organizations, what they do day in, day out is what we call business as usual. Whenever they want to implement a change, because changes are costly for most businesses, they need to make sure it is done well and is done appropriately. So they set up a project, a temporary project to cause, to cause a, an effective change that can be measured and give them their desired output. A project is also cross-functional. It makes use of different talents. It pulls it cuts across an organization and pulls in different talents, different specialties, brings them together under a temporary body to, to achieve a goal. So another major thing to realize is that every single project is unique. There are no two projects that are alike. A good example uh, we have in the UK was when the uh, Football Association wanted to build a new Wembley. It was a massive project and it took them years. It went over budget, it went over, I mean, over time. However, the same project of building a, a, a new stadium was taken, undertaken by the Arsenal Football Club. But they were able to complete their project, build a new stadium on time to budget, and I mean, everything went well. What was the difference? The people who handled the project and the environment of the project made the two similar projects different. So every single project is unique. Uh, there's a level of uncertainty with any project. So there's a high level of risk when it comes to the project. That's why projects have to be handled carefully. Project managers and people involved in projects have to be experienced people have a, a sound understanding of their tools, have a sound understanding of the knowledge of what they're doing, have a sound understanding of the environment, and are able to pull different people, network with different people, come together, and make sure the project is a success. Several things are, are crop up during a project, and um, the people involved in project management, especially the project manager, has to be able to handle all uncertainty. So he has to have an understanding of risks, how to how to handle risk, how to mitigate it, how to how to how to pick up risks, and how to log it log risks. Um, so what is project management? We, we we say we define project management as the application of processes, methods, knowledge, skills, and experience to achieve the project objectives. Every project is set up with a definite objective. So project management is the processes and methods, the knowledge and skills that helps the project achieve such objectives. So if you, anyone considering a, a career in project management has to learn the methods, the skills, and have a good knowledge of what he's doing, such that no matter how, how, how big, how large, how small, how expensive the project is, with the right knowledge of the methods and skills, you, you are able to, to deliver on every project. So who is the project manager? Project manager is a person in, in charge of the overall planning and execution of a project. He takes responsibility of every stage of the project. He's always involved in, in uh, the why, the where, the when, the who, the what, and the how. And sometimes it might seem like we have on the screen here that the project manager is always multitasking and doing several things. Well, with knowledge and experience of, 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 of uh, uh, projects, and especially a framework like PRINCE2, uh, every project man manager can easily and without stress handle the project no matter what, how big it is, how expensive it is, and what, how many parties are involved, it's easy for him to handle it and bring it 
uh, to, to, to a successful uh, delivery uh, point. So the project manager isn't really fluttering and running around in different directions. His knowledge, his skills, his, his methods, his tools enables him uh, 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 deliver on any given project he's given. And that's what we're offering in Vimeca Learning. Um, so the project manager, what is he really involved in doing? The basic thing a project manager does is to plan, delegate, monitor, and control. So he plans, and planning is a very core and vital aspect of project management. The project manager has to know how to plan. He has to have the right tools to plan, and can plan a project no matter how long and how big. Uh, we, we just heard about the HS2 in the United Kingdom, a project that should end in, uh, in uh, uh, that should take about 17 years to complete. When it's kicked off, the project manager in charge of that that project will plan from the day one to the very last day of the project. A plan that will span many, uh, almost two decades. He has the tools, he has the knowledge, and he has the experience to do so. Also, the project manager must delegate because he cannot do everything himself. He has to know how to delegate, whom to delegate, and what to delegate. There are certain things the project manager cannot delegate, and there are certain things which he needs to delegate. After delegating tasks and responsibilities, he needs to monitor. So project management, talks. Uh, uh, there are many tools in monitoring a project. Okay, So he doesn't have to be everywhere and know everything. But with the tools at his disposal, he can monitor every aspect of the project and know the health of his project at any given point in time. Also, the project manager has to control several things. He has to control the project such that the project is going to plan. And whenever it deviates, he has the tools to bring it back uh, to plan. So what does the project manager control? He needs to control the time. He needs to control the cost. And he needs to control the scope of the project. And those are the things which, which, which uh, 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 makes uh, uh, the difference in, uh, 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 in, in projects. Now, once you have a problem with any of those three, what we call the triple constraints, your project will, will, will run over. If anything happens such that the time uh, in which you are given to deliver the project is, is increased, it will have a knock-on effect on the cost and the scope of the project because time is money, as a lot of people say. So the project manager and the people involved in projects have to have a way of monitoring and, 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 and making sure things happen at the right time. Also, costs. If costs go up or go down, it will have an effect on the, on the, on the project. Also, if the scope of the project is affected by something. If people now, midway in a project, decide to bring in more things that were not in scope into that project, it's going to have a knock-on effect of the cost. It's going to be costly, uh, and the time also. It will take a longer time to to, uh, uh, to to deliver the project. A very good example is a marriage. When a, when a bride and groom have agreed on a date of a marriage and agreed on how much their, their wedding will cost, and have put a, a, a a, a, a cost of twenty thousand pounds on your marriage, and they will get married in six months, and it will involve a, 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 a forty guests, invited guests, and honeymoon in, uh, in in the UK while they are based in the UK. If along the line, the the bride gets up and says she wants to have her honeymoon in America, that's a change of scope. It will definitely have a knock-on effect on the cost. So. More money has to be infused, and that project will no longer cost twenty thousand to cost a lot, lot more. If she decides that she, there's a there's a there's a new new dress that is twice as expensive as the one she had in mind, before, she had planned before, uh, and she sees the dress two months to the wedding date, uh, as the same thing is going to have an effect on the cost, and the whole project uh, 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 planning has to be redone. So the the, the project manager controls several measures. He looks at the scope and makes sure the project size and goals and requirements are point on. He looks at the tasks, how, how the time it takes to complete each, each task along the way. He needs to make sure that they are always on point 
and their tasks are completed when they as and when you whenever they say a lag behind and people and then there's, there's a shortfall he has tools and he has methods of 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 uh, uh, causing the critical path which every project must 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 take in order to be successful he has the tools to make sure he gets back on that critical path and meets his milestones resources are also avail available to the uh, project manager if something happens and resources uh, become more expensive for for example materials double in price there are things he needs to do in order to achieve the, uh, the successful project and he has them at his disposal and he will put them to, 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 to play so the, the project manager controls a lot of stuff and he has to have the knowledge and the experience and the methods in which to do so on every given project so measures to control include costs time skills quality of the work you need to keep an eye on the quality of the work the scope and the risk you need to, to make, make sure risks do not come and catch anybody on a worse every risk associated uh, with a project as much as possible is is identified and logged and uh, and and uh, analyzed at the beginning of the project and as the project goes along also, he needs to control the benefits. He needs to make sure that the, 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 the project achieves the benefits for which it was set up. So at our project management, uh, at, at Waymaker Learning, our project management has two aspects to it. We, the, we start with a boot camp. On the boot camp, we want to make sure that we give our delegates practical hands-on training that gives them an understanding of the rules, the principles, and the working knowledge of project management. Also, the training is industry-informed, relevant knowledge that propels our delegates to real-life experience of projects. As our, our, our design, our vision is our, our delegates come to our boot camp and are ready to go into the job market with real-life experience as soon as possible. So we have having for the, for the uh, 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 project management event that has two days boot camp and two days uh, uh, study to, to complete the PRINCE2 foundation exam. What is PRINCE2? PRINCE2 is an acronym and it means Project in Controlled Environments. It's a process-based approach for project management and it provides an easily tailored and scalable method for the management of all types of projects. So scalable meaning you can use the, the framework and the principles and the processes of, uh, 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 of PRINCE2 for a project that costs 10,000 pounds and also for a project that costs, costs 10 billion pounds. It's scalable and it's easily tailored to what you want. Uh, you may not in, in, in the industry, use every aspect of Prince2, but a sound knowledge of Prince2 make you make sure that the project manager understands what happens on the field while his projects are going on. Um, so our goal of the Prince, the goal of the Prince2 foundation examination is that our delegates are prepared to not just take the uh, Prince2 foundation course certification course, but to pass it. We, we, are, we are geared towards giving our delegates sound industry experience of our project management and also a certification by them taking the Prince 2 exam, which is uh, uh, only just administered by us, by, but said by the examination bodies in house. And we take the exam, and the, our delegates take the exam and come out at the end of the, the, the time at Wimica Learning with not just a working knowledge of of uh, project management but also a certification that makes every employer knows and have confidence that they know what they're doing we'll talk a bit about things too and uh, we'll just go into some of the things that will be that will be handled in the uh, uh, prince 2 certification exam prince 2 has seven principles and the seven principles will be covered during the certification uh, uh, course. The first principle says that every, uh, 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 every project must have a continued 
continued business case justification. The business case is the why, is the reason why the project has been commissioned and is started. And Prince 2 holds a, a, a tenant that every business case must be written and must be documented. The business case is a live document that that, that lives throughout the, 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 the time span of the, of the project. There will, there will be always and there will be constant refer, uh, referral to the business case. Second principle is that the, 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 the in Prince 2, uh, or people applying Prince 2, Prince 2 methodology, that they must learn from experience. As the project is as starts and is going on, even before the project starts, you have to learn from experience. And therefore, there's a strong emphasis on logs. We have logs that are, are kept alive and updated constantly as, throughout the project. And after the project, the logs are, 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 are made and are kept and are, and, are, and, are, and are stored such that whenever any other project starts, the first thing you do is to go and learn from pre previous projects. So learning from experience is a very strong principle in Prince 2. Also, there is man in Prince 2, we manage our project by stages. So there's a management by stages. So all Prince 2 projects are broken into stages and you and, and, and the project proceeds in stages. And there's a definite pattern of the stages in Prince 2 that we will learn. Also, we need to manage by exception. The, the, the project management manager cannot be everywhere. The business owners cannot be everywhere. The team leaders cannot be everywhere. The people involved in projects manage the projects only and manage only what they are, uh, they, are, they are responsible for and what they can handle. So the project manager is not going run, uh, running from, from pillar to post. He only manages what and he only turns up when he needs to. So do uh, uh, other other stakeholders in the project. Every project has lots of stakeholders. The stakeholders manage the project by exception. There is a focus on products in, in Prince 2. Prince 2 planning is a product-based planning. Though they are strong on processes, but the focus is the product, uh, the output at the end of the day. That's another major principle of, of Prince 2. And, and also, we need uh, a principle of Prince 2 is that you need to tailor whatever you're doing to suit the project environment. Not all project, uh, like I said in, initially, every project is unique. So you, you tailor your, 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 what you're doing to suit your project environment. And lastly, the last principle. So it's the same thing I just repeated. Yeah, tailor to suit your project and environment. Okay, we now have seven teams in Prince 2. The first team is the business case. I've already spoken about, about the business case. And the next team is quality. Quality runs throughout Prince 2. They say always a, a checkup on the quality of not just the work being done, but everything geared towards the output. Prince 2 focuses on bringing out qualitative products by qualitative processes. Also, there is the, the theme, uh, there's an organizational team that's the way a Prince 2 project is set up. Okay, there are responsibility and responsibilities and roles for different stakeholders and must be maintained throughout Prince 2. Change is also a, a, a major theme of, of Prince 2 well, because every project we go undergo change. Every project will undergo change. There will be always things to change. How do you implement change? It's a strong theme in Prince 2. There are, there are processes in which you implement change in the Prince 2. And every Prince 2 uh, 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 board practitioner must understand how change is implement, changes are implemented on a project. Risk, as I said earlier, uh, is, a, is a major theme. We've spoken a bit about risk this evening. And another major thing is plan. Prince 2, uh, 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 you cannot run a project before without planning. There's a strong emphasis on, on planning in Prince 2. And also progress, how the project, project moves from one stage to another. There, there, there's a, a defined uh, 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 structure in which projects, 
progress from one one, one stage to another. That's a strong thing that that goes that that, that runs through Prince to, to an every Prince to practitioner uh, must understand that. We'll talk with uh, 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 a little time and talk about the main players in a project. So, who are the main players in a project? You already know the project, uh, uh, the project manager. Who else calls the shots in a project? Who else uh, are involved in a project? Well, uh, taking the example of the marriage, I said, I, 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 uh, a marriage uh, uh, between a man and a woman, which I, I discussed earlier on. It's, we have major stakeholders, and stakeholders start from the male and the female, the groom and the bridegroom. They, they both are major stakeholders. We also have the parents of the bride, parents of the groom, the family of the bride, the family of the groom, the government, the authorities, because every marriage has to have a certificate. So the government is a stakeholder. You either go to the, 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 the courts to register a marriage, or you go to the priests or the pastors. Those are those are other stakeholders. What about uh, the friends of the, the, the groom and the friends of the bride? They are also are stakeholders, due to a lesser extent. The, the, the extended family, you know, so we have major stakeholders. Another stakeholder are probably the people in charge of the refreshments, the clothes, the dressmaker. Those are all stakeholders in the project. So we have many players in the project. So we're talking about stakeholders. We'll, during the Prince 2 course, we'll talk about the project board, the executive, the senior user, the senior supplier, the project manager, and the team manager. These are all our stakeholders. And you can see from the diagram we have on the board, we have so many stakeholders that sometimes the project manager <laughs> feels overwhelmed. I want to go and hide away. But he must have the knowledge, the skills, the experience to manage all the stakeholders. We'll talk a bit about the Prince 2 life cycle, the project life cycle. Now, um, we, we, earlier on, I mentioned that there are stages in Prince 2, and we just have a snapshot of it on the screen. So there's the uh, 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 there's a, a pre project uh, 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 part of it where, when you have started the project. There's also a starting up a project and also uh, initiating a project, controlling stages, managing stage boundaries, which have occurs between one stage and the other. There's a way a project is directed and also how you close a project. There are defined processes that take place in each of these stages. Uh, there's also managing product delivery at every stage, okay, especially between the controlling stage and the closing stage. How do you manage your product delivery? And a strong theme that goes right through is how the project is directed, which you see on the top bar, and also how we plan. There, there's a time for planning, it's a time for directing, it's a time for initiating, and it's a time for managing the state boundary. boundary. And there's certain things that may, must be done at each, in each of those stages and uh, at, in between one stage and the other. That's what Prince 2 teaches, and that's what we teach on the Prince 2 course. So why Prince 2 Foundation Examination? Uh, at Waymaker Learning, we provide Prince 2 from, based on the curriculum developed by Axelos. Uh, also, the Axelos offers three levels of uh, qualification, the foundation, the practitioner, and the professional. However, uh, to f the traditional Prince to follow what we call the waterfall style of project management. Okay, it's like it's, it's a waterfall uh, uh, methodology. But right now, especially with the digitalization of the whole world, the whole world has moved into a more uh, more versatile and more flexible way of delivering projects called agile. And right now, the uh, uh, the uh, Axelus and some other group of people have. Uh, come together to, to bring an offering called the Prince 2 Agile Qualification. Um, prior to September, September 2016, you had to have completed your Prince 2 Foundation and Prince 2 Practitioner before you were are, you are allowed to take the Prince 2 Agile Qualification. But in September 2016, which is just about two months, uh, two months now, Axelus lowered the prerequisite for Prince 2 Agile Qualification 
to the Prince 2 Foundation level. That means if you complete the Prince 2 Foundation level uh, a certification course with us in a, at our boot camp in a, 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 a Waymaker Learning, you are on a platform to move, e move on either to a Prince 2 Practitioner or a Prince 2 Agile qualification. And that is a very, very, uh, 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 it's a very, very, uh, uh, added, it's an added bonus to every delegate, meaning you are placed in the prime position, not just to get a, a job as soon as possible, showing that you know the basics that every person involved in project knows, but you, are also, you also are placed on a platform where you can choose in what direction to go. And right now, the whole world is moving that agile. The whole world is moving agile. So we put we at the end of the uh, of, of of the boot camp and uh, the, with us at Waymaker, you are placed in a in a in an ideal position to make a choice and make the most informed choice that will further your career. So let's talk about the training. Training is both uh, is uh, based on both classroom and some self study. And normally, what happens? is that once you register for a Prince 2 course, you're given a, a, a massive booklet. It's a massive booklet of over 200, 300 pages. And most people struggle to go through it. But we, we designed it for in, at Wemeka Learning. The classroom venue is at our Wemeka Learning office in Manchester in Princess Parkway. And the training will be held for four days over two weekends. However, it takes a dedication of time and effort to be successful. And we know that most of the delegates that come to Women Color Learning always put in the, the, the required time and effort. The classroom lectures for the Prince 2 certification will include interact case studies, a lot of exam question scenario, a lot of role playing, we'll give out tips for the examination, we will uh, give, and uh, after the first initial days, we will give our daily assignments and additional reading materials and exam preparation materials. Midweek, we will have a midweek online exam preparation review, and uh, uh, by the end of the, 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 the week, I guarantee that most delegates who have put in the time and the effort will be successful in their, in their, in their, in their not only the pursue foundation exam, but in their choosing career and the choosing focus of getting a job. So how does it run? So we do, we have a boot camp, uh, uh, the first day is a uh, Prince 2, we start with the Prince 2 management uh, uh, boot camp. On the second day, we have half, half a day for boot camp, project management, and a CV clinic, and half a day for Prince 2 course. Which we, which we go through the seven teams and seven principles. Oh, sorry, there's a little error there. So we had a day one, PM Bootcamp and Project Management, day two, PM Bootcamp, Project Management, Civic Clinic, Prince 2 course, covering the seven teams and seven principles. Then, uh, and they are also held on a weekend, on a Saturday and a Sunday. On the Monday, we have, we'll, each delegate will be, will be given a uh, will be sent a, a one hour task to complete, including question and answers. And that will move him forward. Another one hour task to complete, complete uh, will be given on a Tuesday. And on a Wednesday, we'll have both a one hour task question and answer and a two hour online intensive tutorial. On Thursday, another one hour task of question and answer will be uh, uh, given to our delegates to complete, which so every day there's a there's a there's new information, new understanding, and an establishment of all the things you've learned, and a, a settling of all the things you left you've learned in, into your your understanding. On Friday, another one hour task and question and answer. Then on the, on the next Saturday, which is a day four. So the first weekend we have day one and day two. Throughout the week we have one hour of tasks and question and answers. We have a midweek where we have an intensive two-hour tutorial, another, and each of the following days, a Thursday, Friday, another one-hour tax with a, a question and answer. And on the fourth day, is a full blast Prince 2 role-playing examination preparation. The fifth day, which is the, 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 uh, the, 
day five is will then be uh, exam tips, exam preparation, then write the exam. So what we do is we classify everything that is done on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as another day. So ideally, you have five good days of work. Day one on a weekend, Saturday, day two on a weekend, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with full days, which will equate to a full days of work. Day four, a full day of, of work in the Mimical Learning Office. And finally, day five, where you come in for half a day, go through exam tips, go through preparation exam, then write the exam. All in all, we have over 32 hours of interaction. And that is, in, we believe at Home Academy, that is enough to both prepare our delegates for the job market and also for to pass the exam. We talk a bit about the exam. The exam involves multiple choice questions. It's a closed book exam, meaning uh, you just sat with the, with the computer. It, it's on for 60 minutes, and the pass mark is 50%. Now, in Wimaker Learning, our exam is system-based, meaning computer-based. We provide the systems for taking the exam in our, at our office. So after a morning of examination preparation, all the delegates log on, take the exam, and we get our results in not, not, not too long after you finish your exam. Our preparation makes sure that all our, 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 our delegates do not squeeze out their brains while the exam. After over 32 hours of interaction, we are confident that you are well prepared, not just for the exam, for the job market. So what happens after passing the exam? The, the most important thing uh, people involved in project require is experience. Our uh, boot camp gives, not only gives you experience, but also upon completing the, the boot camp, you are automatically, uh, 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 you automatically have access to a Waymaker Academy where work skills, it's a work skills training academy where you, you, you have the ability to talk to people who are in the industry. We have an alumni, of an academy made up of people who have taken our courses before, people who are working coaches, mentors, such that anything you need, you can ask within the forum and, and uh, uh, you'll be built up. Also, in the academy, you, have, you, you are able to go on projects that we have at Wimaker Learning and get uh, a hands-on experience on life projects, several life projects that we have going on. So, uh, we make learning, we want to solve real world problems. And we make sure that learning need not to be a headache for our delegates. We also have a lot of tools available to all our academy, uh, 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 we make learning academy folks. We have several uh, uh, project management uh, uh, tools, including Microsoft Office Project, Oracle Primavera. Uh, Microsoft Project and Oracle Primavera are major uh, planning tools. Those are project, every project manager cannot do without planning. So we, we, we have, uh, we actually even have a course, a separate course on Oracle Primavera with a consultant in-house that delivers that specialized course for Oracle Primavera. We have other, other tools like Jira for which, which is used for managing projects, especially, uh, um, uh, uh, digital projects and Confluence also. We have we have confluence, we have Slack, we have Trello, and all our Women Calendar Academy folks have access to all our tools. And uh, and and if depending on how much time they want to give you, they can give enough time to get real life experience at Women Calendar. So cost, what does what's what's the cost of the of our cost? So when we put our, our prices that we realize that our PM boot camp is given at three ninety nine. Princess Examination Certification, $399. Women Academy, Academy Subscription is $299. All the tools and materials uh, are available to all Women Academy and all Women Academy delegates, $399. And Prince 2 Examination fee at $250. Totally $1,426. But right now, we are doing, we have 60% of that price. And every delegate that registers, Especially those who have uh, 
uh, been on our other our free seminars on our webinars, get a 60% off and get the full package for only 599 pounds. So if you're interested, please, the details are on the board. Call Wimika Learning on our numbers 0161 226-6135, or you can email inquiries at wimikalearning.com. We, our next training session is scheduled to start on the 26th to 27th of November and end on between the 4th and 5th of December. However, if you cannot make these dates, please get in touch with our office and uh, they, will, they will inform you when the next available session will be. I do enjoin you to try and get in touch with our office because I think there might be an added bonus, and an added discount for those who uh, have actually been on our webinar. I cannot uh, verify any details, but if you give your details and say you actually attended or posted webinar, you might get another added discount. So let's talk about income. What do project managers uh, uh, earn? Now, you can either work as a contractor or you work as a, you can either work as a contractor or you work as a, as a full-time staff. As, a, as one who, who, has, who has been involved in project management, there are, all, there are several rules that can t you can take up. You can take up a project officer, you can take up, take up roles in project support. You can take, take up roles as junior project manager, project coordinators, or project managers. Now, you can see uh, a daily rate taken from between 150, uh, 200 pounds to 600 uh, pounds per day. Now, we do know that experienced project managers, many years on the job, many certifications under their belts, knowledge and experience, would take home, take home 600 pounds per day and more. But as a starter, I think with knowledge and the experience you can gain input in numerical learning, 200 pounds a day will be, will be right up uh, uh, most people's uh, uh, street. Um, so this is a, a, a stat from read.com, which says the average salaries of project management managers in the UK, uh, for those who are on permanent employment, is about 55,000 pounds. 5,500 5, thereabouts. And uh, I think this was last week, they had 842 jobs uh, uh, available. So there are jobs out there uh, available for project managers. At this time, I want to thank you for listening to me. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I want to I'll wait for about uh, three, four minutes for any questions. And if you have a question, please type something on uh, the, the chat and a, a chat box and I'll, and I'll, I'll get, get there. If you look at the chat, uh, chat box, you, sh you should be able to see uh, uh, some uh, information also. Uh, the email is there, and also the the, the phone number of uh, Wimita Learning Office. Please feel free to call anytime, and uh, you will get further information. Okay, I can see a question is coming up, so I'll give time. Uh, give some time to. After you type your question, you can just hit the send button and it will pop up. Okay, I can see. Uh, uh, 
uh, delegate or uh, uh, call saying thank you for the lecture. Uh, I'm sure she really enjoyed it, and I'm sure we've given you some information to go home and really think about it. Like I said, if you've been on this call and you give the officer a, 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 a ring, as long as you register with your name, you can actually tell them you were at the at the presentation and uh, even the price you saw, try and negotiate a, 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 a discount and uh, they, may, they may just, for being uh, friends with Waymaker Learning, they might put in something. So I can see another, another, ch another thing on the chat group saying thank you for the presentation. You're very welcome, sir. You're welcome. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, we just try to give an overview of what we will do both in the Prince Two uh, Project Management Boot Camp and our Prince Two and our Prince Two uh, uh, certification on um, Prince Two Foundation certification course. At this time, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone that's been uh, on the call. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you all have a nice evening. Thank you, and God bless.